All right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for March, March Comes, Comes In Like a Lion, Lion. Season 1, Episode 21. 21. The penultimate episode. To Season 1, yes. Yeah, and I, I didn't even know that. Like, mm -hmm. I, Yeah, <laughs> I totally forgot about that too, yeah. which is kind of surprising considering like I knew how long this show was, you know, because I had watched some of it before. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Um, so... So, so we've got two episodes left that makes it uh that gives me some ideas maybe on on what they'll do because now mm -hmm. that the shogi is for the most part over well, shimada we conceded see. in the last episode right. uh ray did see a move uh -huh. that would have countered the tempo or sente of you know his attack so he right. so uh -huh. his attack uh but uh, shimada didn't and right. either even did Suji, the the ninth Don guy, mm -hmm. the, the 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 dragon, dragon puffing yes. out his chest guy, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So they could go over that in the workshop. There could be some showy yep, stuff. They definitely there. could. They could also have more with the Kawamotos for the finale. Since let's <laughs> I be mean, real, they probably will. as awesome as Shogi is in this show, um, the Kawamotos, and to another extent, Kyoko, Kyoko. are the true heart and core of this story in relation yeah. to Ray. I'm I'm interested to see what Ray will take from this whole experience with Shimada because mm -hmm. Shimada taught him a lot outside of Shogi. Yes. By the the fierceness at which Shimada put himself out there. Right. You know, not just because of the physical ailments he was dealing with, but because of the overwhelming pressure from everyone mm -hmm. else being put upon yes. him. Yep. And there's a lot Ray can take from that right. and grow. And also the idea that even if things seem hopeless, you never know when there's a break in sight. Like, yep. like just, just, just yep. a little bit further. Yep. Um, the storm is yep. ever present. Exactly. But uh, you, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to stop moving in the storm. You can keep right. moving through it. So, yeah, it's gonna be awesome, y'all. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everyone, we're gonna start the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. I love how much more positive like this opening is than the previous one. It's just like it's gonna be okay. Uh, of all the characters that we've kind of been introduced thus far, though, mm -hmm. I'm really, I'm really excited for uh, Akari development. Yes, same here. Like, I think there's some cool things they could do, especially with Harunobu. I would say moving forward into these like final two episodes for the season, because yeah. he had his little thing of like, ah, I'm gonna take him to the limousine and the helicopter and all that, <laughs> but. Um, there's similarities, I think, in Harunobu and, uh, Akari, actually, that I, I think really? in the, huh. in the roles by which they, they, uh, they play to Rei, even though they are the exact opposite in terms of personality. Mm -hmm. I can't, ah. I can't do it like that. It's so good. It's so good. <sighs> All right. When the cherry blossoms bloom. Oh my god, so cute! Right in the beginning. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's so bright. <laughs> this is a great start to an episode. Uh -huh. Hi hi. Oh my god! It's so adorable, so wholesome. <sighs> Wait, really? Whoa. That's a really cool idea. Oh, all the colors. Mm. 
No! Take some of my energy, Shimada! No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Oh. <laughs> 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 About something completely non related to Shogi. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wow. Awesome. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow! Very fitting. There he is! The legend! Himself. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> the daimyo himself. <laughs> New character? No, isn't that the other uh, guy at the workshop? Or no, it's not. <laughs> Wait. Gotcha, so they're just gonna play indoors. Okay. Cool. Gotcha. Okay. So he's he's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no. He's he's from he's from the earlier parts of the introduction when they were talking about um Yeah, he was introduced way earlier. He was just kind of in the background though. Gotcha. Cool. Oh. Cool. Yeah, because these games go for a long time, don't they? A very they? long time, yep. Did he just mumble that out loud? Ah, uh, gotcha. All right. Hmm. Aha! Hmm. Yes, yes, yes! Hmm. <laughs> awesome. Well done. <laughs> oh. Here's some tea.
Cool. All right. <laughs> Processing. Mm -hmm. I, I That's my line right now. Uh... Mm. Is he the son of the dragon? Yeah, guy? yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he has the same last name. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so did they get the chairman to go for it? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> ah! <laughs> So they're playing a bunch of people at the same time? I think time. they're playing a bunch of people, yeah. A lot yeah. of people. So do they each take a table, or do they all just go around as many as I think possible? It, yeah, I think it might just be that they, they just rotate. Gotcha. Just constantly going. Constantly spinning. That, that makes sense. No. Yeah, who is this? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, we've been in a place like that before. Yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. Oh. Oh, That's and Katatsu is nice. Very cool. Oh my gosh. What a good guy. Yeah. Cool. Ah. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Happiness can be found anywhere. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Aww. Yeah. They both want Shimada mm -hmm. to be happy too, which is oh. Oh. 
Yeah, he did. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Boy. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to say it in tune with the... Mm. the <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Ooh! I need the inspiration, indeed. Mm. Mm. Let's put our heads together and think. This is true. Okay. Hmm. Apples and whipped cream with strawberries? No, 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 no. As an alternative to the thing that had the strawberries and the strawberries daifuku. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. They found the cheapest thing on the menu. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. All the topics, 1610 yen. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <gasps> and you get that. <laughs> oh. Huh? <gasps> 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 
Momo just passes by. Here comes true inspiration out of the mouth of babes. Uh -huh. Yep. Gum! <laughs> <laughs> what? What? No! <laughs> no, gum is not a genius idea. <laughs> This is so chaotic, oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and what light doth yonder breaks? So what's inside it? Cute. All right. Kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> the way they show him yeah, standing, just standing up, like, up like he's some giant right <laughs> four different like uh -huh. s like angles essentially <laughs> <laughs> the sudden uh -huh. momo is oh hmm Oh, oh, Mikako. Mikako. <sighs> hmm. Oh. Cool. Oh, she looks just like a Kari. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hina. You gonna call Ray? Probably. <gasps> oh, he's right outside. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> he still hasn't hung up. Uh huh. He came here on his own accord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Accord. Ah! <laughs> Momo is so happy. <laughs> cool. <gasps> Aww. She wants to be just like her mom. Mm -hmm. This is so sweet. Okay. Wow. Okay. 
All right. That was a that was, that was a very like uh, like whoa, episode. Like we had the full shogi picture with yeah, Shimada's uh-huh. hometown. Well, not yep. the official hometown, but more the 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 club and everything. Right, and right. Everything but, there. Oh but. man. Yeah, I I really like the style of the way this show is adapting the manga of having it be like, okay, here is this chapter, you know, and and like we'll have that at this part of the episode. Yeah. And like they they're open about the fact that the chapters are kind of like segmented. Yeah, segmented. Not that they're, they're very disconnected, different. but yeah, because because it is it does follow a linear story and everything. Absolutely. But there there isn't much like bleed through. From yeah. chapter to chapter yeah sometimes there's like multiple parts for a specific right. uh-huh. storyline yeah so it requires multiple chapters essentially uh-huh. but i i like how um we essentially get main characters in each part there yeah yeah oh man because it i feel like it helps them focus on the developments with the characters because of doing it like that now that's probably largely because of just how the manga is written you know? possibly but oh, this is a really whoa, good episode whoa down 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 okay okay so we right. dealt with the full gamut of this style mm-hmm. of storytelling with having the yep. kawamotos and the wholesome moe adorable cuteness yep. and tying it up with ray coming back mm-hmm. to you know spend more time with them yeah. it's great and he brought even the the, the little you know mm-hmm. the treats extra, and the extra stuff, food and treats which and which, stuff. which ties yeah. in with them basically being like oh no we spent so much money right. on this thing and then it just uh-huh just, yeah that, oh, like so okay cool. so so the fact and and the whole stuff with shimada at the beginning was great too because i, I feel like there was there was just the fun aspect of it and wrapping up the shogi element and sort of doing kind of like world building in a sense of what shogi is and what it means and what it represents to more so than many just, people to so many people more mm-hmm. than just being you know a not chess you know like if if that makes sense um like like it it is to me at the beginning you know just like okay shogi it's like chess um but it's like no no, no there's a whole lot more to it mm-hmm. but then the way they they did the parallel between the the people in shimada's hometown that were rooting for him and cheering him on and everything. Yeah. Even when he got four straight losses. Yep. Um, that, because the whole the whole part with the Kawamoto's afterward, that was my favorite part of this episode, but I feel like the fact that the, that we got those two hand in hand, mm-hmm. that was no accident. And not just because it's adapting it from a manga where that was the next chapter and stuff, but like that was, that was intentional. On it. And I really loved the parallels that they did there because they've done a lot to showcase how Shimada is similar to Ray and sort of further along, you know? Yep. Um, yep. So doing that was, that was wonderful. Yeah. The older elderly people are his Kawamoto's mm-hmm. essentially. Yep. Yep. And he is taking care of them. Mm-hmm. Like you notice the parallels here, the oh, idea yeah. that the Kawamoto's yeah. are struggling financially mm-hmm. and also are struggling emotionally with the whole loss yep. of their parents and the similarities there. Mm-hmm. Shimada, you know, feels alone feels kind of lonely and in a lot of ways i feel like they do kind of as well especially them whole mentioning the fact that they literally end up getting cut off from society due right. to the winters that come uh-huh. in and it's funny yeah. that they mentioned that whole idea of the snow essentially landlocking a specific town out mm-hmm. of you know being able to you know get out of there and stuff we've we've been in environments uh-huh. like that as well where we know how yeah. the people have to you know go and like buy Just like oh there's two feet for- of snow okay you know and we're stuck here for yep. a month or two, you mm-hmm. know. Um, yeah, that's that's really cool. Um, but the stuff that really hit me was Hayashida mentioned a while back that you need to be there for them and be vulnerable to basically right. others yeah. uh-huh. and letting yep. them know how they can help in in a lot of ways, and, and so that they will let you help them exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, uh, it's just it's just so cool to see that with Shimada here. Mm-hmm helping them in their whole situation there because it's like oh my gosh he does so much for them yeah. and while yeah. i'm sure that they do things like like it's not him just literally buying food for them all like they probably pay him back for that stuff sure it's, a, it's an yeah. exchange thing it's an organized community effort yeah but the idea of there being this whole community effort thing built around these people that are in this town 
that have sent off their golden child, mm -hmm. their golden yep. boy out there into the world, mm -hmm. he still comes back and he remembers them and he values them and he yep. spends time with them. And and yep. and while he might be coming back with this shame, this guilt up on him of right. like, oh, I failed them, I pain. failed them. Yeah. yeah. No, no, they're mm -hmm. they're in love with him. They're enamored yep. with him. They it's just oh I the, love the journalist too. Him like trembling with joy oh, yeah. about like yeah. oh he's happy. He's mm -hmm. so I'm so glad. Yep. Like it yep. just oh it's wholesome. I love it. Um the one of the things that I thought was was I felt it doubled it doubled as a fun gag, but also like something more serious. Oh, okay. Is how uh, Shimada was saying that he kind of hoped that they would get mad at him, like that 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 right. They you know if they chastised him and stuff, that would that would feel a bit better mm. because you know because he, he feels down about about how he he failed them, right? Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. then the whole thing of him being like, "Wow, not even five seconds, and they're already you know like." getting on my case about something and it's not even it's not even the actual shogi match it's not even something like, that he weather. has control it's the weather. over yeah you know um that's that communicated very clearly to me just how just how much they care about this guy yeah and that basically the relationship between them is so solid on their end like the whole the whole thing of the them saying later, you know, like we won't change. That was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we'll never change. Oh. And 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 the idea that he's basically thinking, I've I failed. I've done something wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And because like when when it feels like you're on thin ice, you know, or you're you know you're rocking on eggshells, right? Whereas they're they just come in stomping around, and they're like, what? No, this this stuff's this stuff's solid. You could jump up and down on this, and it'd be <laughs> totally fine. Um, that that was yeah, that was good. It was awesome. Seeing seeing them basically give him the ah you rain bringer. What's yeah. what's what's great about that is when you're when you're close with someone you can throw around all kinds of jabs and things mm -hmm. like that. But I, I find it also kind of uh I find it also kind of um apropos that the guy who sees himself as constantly being tossed about by the storm oh. he feels guilty maybe in some ways for bringing the storm back home and not having conquered it. Basically, mm -hmm. seeing the storm as this thing that right. is his burden to bear, but ah, he like hates that he has to he has to continually fight it without winning mm -hmm. over and over again, and that there's some sort of time limit where he has to do it within a certain period right. of time. Otherwise, mm -hmm. their their belief in him is invalid. Right. I think one of the most beautiful things about life in general is that you see people go through storms you see them like mm -hmm. walk in the middle of them you see them get taken down you know get knocked down get knocked over tossed to the side delayed distracted all these kinds of things by yeah. storms but ultimately just the human spirit is so darn tenacious you see people mm -hmm. that you never expect to weather a storm just take it in stride after years of being beaten down by it and the idea that Shimada, while dealing with so much other stuff in addition to just the shogi mm -hmm. pressure yeah. of you know competing well, he's still wanting to move forward, and he finds so much strength, I believe, in their energy. And this is something that I think relates perfectly back to the Kawamotos, is that Ray's situation uh -huh. is so, so unique. Yep. Like, there's like... There's, yep. there's a very small number of people that can relate to exactly what he's experienced over the years. And it's just like, okay, this is a storm that should break someone. Like, it mm -hmm. would break, I think, me. Like, absolutely. And yet, he's still pushing forward. He has so many people in his corner. Yep. And if he's just willing to, like, like Shimada receive their energy, receive mm -hmm. their wholesomeness, and just right. be open. Yep. He will be able to move forward and he'll be able to give back so much just from being able to keep moving within mm -hmm. the storm. It's not like he's going to beat the storm anytime uh -huh. soon. It's just that he's going to be moving within it. And just the picture of seeing him it, like they did in the opening, mm -hmm. you know, the little storm, snowstorm oh, yeah. coming upon him and him walking, trudging forward mm -hmm. and he falls down. They pick him right back up. Yep. And it's just, it's just. Ah, I, I don't I don't know why I'm so excited about the mm -hmm. next episode. It's probably a combination of the fact that it ends with Ray joining up with the Kawamotos, uh -huh. but also that it's the final episode of season one. Right. Just knowing like, 
oh my god, what what mm-hmm. what is Ray going to apply well, in the many things that he's grown in in the last uh-huh. like half dozen episodes or so? In a lot I of just, ways, I can't in wait. a lot of ways he already has one of my yeah. absolute favorite shots from this episode, and it mm-hmm. was like one of those shaft things where it's like they show something real quick and then it's mm-hmm. and then go to something else. Um, a little eye blink and then to the side and then they cut to something else. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> um in this one it was when okay before i say this the whole fact that ray like he knows like i i wish ray was here mm-hmm. and she goes to call him and he's already outside like he's yeah. already you know, coming over like that that <sighs> you love that i loved that so much thank you thank you for for doing that like oh that was that was wonderful mm-hmm. but but the but other thing the other thing uh-huh was when he holds out the um when he hands them the the, the food uh-huh. and it and it just and it's this snap like just just very very brief shot of him handing the food to akari mm-hmm. now that that hit me pretty hard when i saw it and i feel like now that i've been able to sort of process it mm-hmm. i understand why oh okay both akari and ray in a lot of ways are closed off from letting other people help them with their issues. Oh, okay. Right? Because Akari is constantly thinking of, okay, I need to be the strong one because I need to care for, you know, everyone else. And and earlier that episode, that basically was an example of her kind of letting her guard down, right? Gotcha. You know? And 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 blowing off some steam with sweets by saying, you know what? Let's splurge a little bit, right? And then right. afterwards, she's like beating herself up for it. Like, why did yeah. I do that? Mm-hmm. Is there a part of that that could just be for the the cutesy factor of them freaking out over the sweets and everything, uh, and just a comedy of that? Sure. Or is there something deeper? Then yeah. Ray comes along, and there's the thing that Hayashida said of, if you don't let people help you, they won't let you help them, right? right? And Ray goes to the the Kawamoto's house of his own initiative right yep. without being asked or yep. invited over right yeah and he shows up with food because he knows that he gets something from that that there is healing that happens when he is there right mm-hmm. and at the same time when he goes there uninvited then he is able to help them with the things that they need help with right you know? and and akari accepts it right that's a she good doesn't, point she doesn't say anything about we'll pay you back no she doesn't do anything like that it's just thanks you know and yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, he did he did a good job of prefacing in some ways that it's right, not that really this, from him. Right, I did. It didn't cost me anything. Kind yeah, of a thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. So but, there might be a little bit that she's kind of explaining away with with that regard. Mm-hmm. But I think you're 100 percent right in that she didn't even say anything right about the whole mm-hmm. uh, aspect of the gift and yeah. and uh, there's. There's a lot I hope they do in this show, and I've heard so many good things about season two. Right, that it's like so I'm I can only like, you can only guess that like they're going to do all those things. They're that going we to do so many good do. things. Yeah. So Ugh. so I can't wait for yeah. that. Um, mm-hmm. I I, w- I would say that uh, Haranobu being uh, Nikaido, you know, being a, a a big part of this episode and having his daimyo outfit mm-hmm. and stuff. Yes, and and his and his wholesome butler just just. <laughs> Just being the, just the best speed wagoning it up yes. and being like, wow, so, good. so incredible, way to go. Yes. But I will admit, mm-hmm. I remembered after I got a few seconds to look at the guy, but it's easier to remember his name now because I'm in JoJo's part right, four. Right. We have Okuyasu. Okuyasu. Mm-hmm. Um, that's his, I think that's his first name, not, his, so, yeah. not his last name. And his last I, name is something is what that they no say, one will ever remember properly. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> saying the name wrong. But he was introduced, I think, around the middle of the first season, where uh, the when the chairman was introduced. Well, basically, when they introduced a lot of the other shogi players, right? Uh huh. And like, I, I think like you're right. I Goto think it's around that time. And yeah. yeah, and he was just kind of there. Mm-hmm. But I remember he had some commentary in that episode that was kind of like, oh. Oh, interesting. Are you? Huh. Uh, are you? Uh, nope. Okay, I guess we're not focusing on him. So okay. Hmm. And now he's and back, and now I'm like, wait a minute. So what are they going to do here? Are they going to bring him into a bigger role in season two, right. or is he just a or shtick just for just you know oh, another character, right? That no one can remember the name of. But he was an eighth don, though. Uh, I think they said seventh don. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay, we can double check real quick. But I think the the thing that was really good to bring up is that uh, uh, Nikaido Haranobu 
beat someone that's way above uh, yes. him in rank. Yes. Like a mm-hmm. considerably larger yeah. uh, or uh, higher rank, yeah. higher higher rank uh-huh. than than him for yep, sure. Yeah. When they did the the human shogi thing, which by the way is as an artistic kind of expression thing. Oh yeah, that was fantastic. That was gorgeous. Yeah, I just, especially loved the hundred move thing where it was just them like rotating around in a circle and yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm checking. Bum, bum, checking. Bum, 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 bum. It was actually really early on in the episode. Seventh yep, don. Se- yeah, you were right. Don. You were right. Yeah. Yeah. Shimada's an eighth don. Right. Yeah, yep. mm-hmm. and his and his and his last name is Yokomizo. Yokomizo. Right. Okay. And gotcha. the and the things that they mess up with his name, it's not even similar in the in like the slightest. Like they're way off, way <laughs> off. Like, like I've seen that joke before in anime where it's right. like you know someone someone gets like the one syllable off or something and it really peeves. Right. I stuttered. Yeah. But but this it's like no they're just they're just being like uh something else. You know? <laughs> now it might also be the the Japanese, uh, you know the meaning for the name. Sure. So there's like similar so, meanings that sound completely different. Right. Exactly. Uh, sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> that, yeah. That's possible. But yeah. Uh, but yeah that that was kind of a like oh oh right you're a mm-hmm. you're a character that we have been introduced to. I just don't remember much about you because you were just right. kind of there. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, the the whole festival thing was really fun and colorful. Yeah, and it was kind of like, oh, right, of course they would, you know, do something here right. because they would expect that, you know, at the very least we would go to the fifth game, right? So we're gonna celebrate them coming here, and while Shimada does come here, he's not bringing the match here. He's not right. bringing the tournament. And here. and at the very least. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you feel bad for him because you're like, oh, they were so excited. They were so happy. They they're were so, still so happy. They're still made so it happy. The, he made it to the end. Like, yeah. he maybe got crushed once he got to the end, but he got to the end. That's like, true. That's like, true. He had to beat Goto. He had, he had to, to beat Goto. Goto. Yeah. Like, yeah, definitely. We, we remember how that went. Like, that, that took years off his life. <laughs> like, so, yeah. Um, One of the other things that I just have to mention. Yeah is just how adorable the all the Kawamotos were this episode, and especially Momo. And especially Momo. Especially Momo. Episode even though, opened with Momo. Even, just, the episode Mwah! opened with Momo, which is a great way to start an episode. Oh, my but, heart. But also, mm. the parts where they would be, like, talking and stuff, or, like, Ray showed up, and she was just... She was just jumping and spinning around, Bounding like around. she like she didn't know what to do, and they weren't focusing on her. It's so like she's just in the back she, corner. She's just in the back corner just doing that, and it's just like, yes... Thank you, thank you, Momo. You are you are wonderful. You are a treasure. Mm-hmm. I have to wonder though. That's one of those things that I don't think you can really showcase details of that in a manga form. Yeah, I so think, like, what the I think they would show would do is, is like lines. For, they would like, show motion. lines of the motion and uh-huh. maybe like a frame right, split right. where the head's like spinning or whatever. Uh-huh. But in this, it's like. She yeah. was doing all kinds of stuff yeah. there while they were talking. She was like tugging on Akari's like uh-huh. apron, apron, yeah. and yeah. just oh, oh my god, yeah. oh, I just, I just yeah, love just, how it's. Uh, you know how teenage girls would say, "I can't even." Right. Momo can't even just, when Ray shows yeah. up. And it's a just, sudden Ray appears. It's she's just, just so like, no, no, you it's know. So ah. But but then at oh the same time, god. with all the adorableness that happened and everything, and the whole things of you know figuring out what what you know treats they were yeah. gonna make and stuff and like stuff that the mom then they then they mm-hmm. just deftly boom, offering mikako. the mom talking about that yeah mikako you know mm-hmm. and and then the whole thing with hina and end up being like i i, I it's want a secret <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's a secret but i i want to i want to do this yeah this i, I want to do this i want to i want to you know run the shop with grandpa and stuff yeah. it's like wow okay okay yeah yep yeah. mm-hmm yeah, yeah. Yeah, this family, this family, this oh. this this whole family. That's like, right. Mm-hmm. Not just the girls, but the grandpa and Ray, Ray mm-hmm. and, just, and the yep. cats and the, the cats. Cat. Oh, yeah. 
I love it. Yeah. So, yeah, this is this is a good stuff, y'all. This if so you want to see the finale for season one, the reaction mm-hmm. discussion right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. Any level support gets you access to our Discord where you can chat with us about stories or just hang out in general and chat about whatever. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.